XW. Wrong. The Red Boy bloodline produces dogs that are less intelligent and obedient than the average. The importance of this becomes apparent when they are bred with other lines. One downside is how short their lifespan is. While these dogs may produce average to below average bites, tight Red Boy breedings may also carry other negative qualities related to their offspring. Red Boy is a classic toy bike, but this heavy and old-fashioned bike is not something that's desirable for those wanting to be in the race of really fast speed competition. The quality of Red Boy dogs also started to deteriorate because they were so popular. A lot of people today use tight Red Boy stock that is not based on proven dogs, so the line in its pure form is not much better than it would have been 10 years back. However, this phenomenon isn't new, so just like before there are options and ways you can avoid these mistakes. Today, the best of this line was a result of a cross at the Jeep bloodline. This dog should have been called the Jeep Cross or Red Boy Cross. It was created with high-end genetics to provide a strong working cop, but without many of the negatives associated with that particular bloodline. What's the best combination? CH Crenshaw's Jeep, 4XW, wrong. Jeep, Red Boy Dog is no longer a hybrid cross but rather a mix of the best from these two lines. The 10-year-old training of the hog dog has made them as game as Red Boy Dogs. But unlike Red Boys, they don't have a higher percentage of dumb or soft-mouthed dogs in their lineage. One of the perks of Jeep slash Red Boy line was that it helped to improve the consistency and quality of our overall litter. With gameness, ability and intelligence levels that are right in the middle, all dogs are good on either end. The Jeep slash Red Boy line seems to offer the best of both worlds. 75% of the dog's quality bone and 25% of Red Boy's bear. The higher the percentage of Red Boy blood in this mix, the lower the quality of this line. Unwanted traits from Red Boy lines will appear. Garrett's, White's Tab wrong. Tab is a 50% Jeep and 50% Red Boy mix. Tab first got a lot of attention after crossing with Crenshaw's Irene. Irene was also purebred Garlo Jeep dog. The combination of these two dogs allowed us to see the true breeding potential of this new cross dog Keith. Rodriguez was one of the first to own a Tab X Irene dog and that dog's name was Gator. Gator made his championship into some of the best competition around in Rodriguez's hands. Later due to some financial issues ch. Gator was sold to Crenshaw who brought out Gator for one more win into some of the finest that Mexico had to offer. The dog then became known as Crenshaw's ch. Gator. Gator was an interesting cross between a Jeep and a Red Boy. The story of ch Gator starts in the Deep South. Born on her yard a white she was sold to P. Rodriguez and started schooling at an early age. She was always one of the top dogs in school. Brought out for his first he simply overpowered his opponent and won with ease in 39 minutes. Number 2 was hooked and he went in with a fury and it was over in 38 minutes. At this point his stud career was started and Rodriguez was looking for number 3. Finally the date was set for the third show. As always Gator was a bear for work and his keep went perfect. He was in great shape and all was made ready for number 3. This match would be for his championship all three within one year. The day came and the time drew near. When Gator was released the outcome was never in doubt as he was on top all the way. Now in a 37 minutes he was CH Gator. Many good bitches were bred to the little dog and it looked like he was quite a good producer of quality bulldogs. It looked like a great future for CH Gator. But hard times fell on Rodriguez and he had to put his CH Gator up for sale. Crenshaw was in the market for the dog, especially since he was a double grandson of the great Crenshaw CH Jeep Ron. Crenshaw bought the dog and started looking for number 4. Some thought that it was crazy to use CH Gator again, but Crenshaw wanted to see for himself what the little dog was made of. The match was made into the four-time winner Bellin CH Chain Book, one that many said CH Gator didn't have a chance of beating. CH. Lara's Chain Booger aka Bellens well someone forgot to tell CH Gator. His keep went well and the two year layoff didn't seem to have too much effect on the little dog. The time was at hand and on the fly CH Chain Booger caught CH Gator in the rear end, where he stayed doing of damage for the first 25 minutes. Things didn't look too good for CH Gator, but he started to get a little rough on CH Chain Booger and the tide turned. CH Gator got up and started to work on CH Chain Booger who got behind and didn't like it. He was a whip dog at 51 minutes. Gator came from behind to win a very tough match. I've heard a few critics of this little CH Gator. Some said he never should have took what he did against CH Chamber. I think you need to take into account something we call games. He beat a four-time winner that no other dog could stay with for even an hour. He never made a bad move and when he could he came to the top and gave as good as he got. Something we call games. Something that this little champion knows all about. Crenshaw CH. Gator was not only a successful combination of the Jeep slash Red Boy line, but also ushered in a new generation of dogs that would be based on this successful combination. Gator unfortunately did not live an overly long life, but during his time that he was at stud he proved that he could reproduce these qualities. Crenshaw CH. 
Gator has since become an ROM producer. Another dog that is becoming quite well respected, as a producer is a brother to CH. Gator named White's KA, White's KA, POR, his sire tab, ROM, is now part of the history of this breed, but due to his age he has not been as popular as a stud dog over the past year or so. Questions have been raised about his fertility. Without a doubt, K is the most prominent son of Tab, ROM, and Irene to emerge alive today. He is also a dog who has produced highly respected offspring that are fast lane material in percentages that surpasses Sire Tab, ROM. K is mentioned above as solely owned by Pro Line Kennels. K is not just a pretty pedigree dog, he's proved that he can compete and win against the best the world of fast lane competition has to offer. We believe the offspring he produces are high quality that can compete and win too. Scratchliner Kennels recently became aware of this when they lost with one of their finer bitches to a daughter of K.A. So what is an yet even better combination? It is another cross becoming well respected, that also comes from the likes of Mr. Crenshaw. That would be Jeep slash Red Boy slash Rascal. CH Rascal, a great 8XW, 1XL. Rascal produced more good dogs than many recognized. CH Crenshaw's Rascal 8XW 1XL4 with 9 CHs and 1 GR.CH. To his credit, CH. Rascal has had a major impact on the dogs of today. A brother to Woods Oso Negro and Boudrolu, from P. Carver's Black Shine Bread to Carver's Orphan Annie 2, 2XW. Rascal bred dogs tend to produce dogs with average to above average bite, roughness and excellent wrestling ability. Jean's Lug Poor is a great producing son of Jeep from Jean's Honey a daughter of Rascal JR. Rascal JR, a very important factor in this line. This dog was the best of both of his parents. Hard mouth, lots of smarts and deep game. When I say parents I mean CH Rascal and Creshaw CH Honey Bunch, which we know is Jeep's dam also, making Rascal JR the key. Now, for those looking to get in on the ground floor of the purest that the Jeep slash Red Boy slash Rascal line has to offer, you should look no further than Caldwell's Dragon. Carver's Orphan Annie, ANNY2, 2XW. Dragon was bred and is owned by Cold Steel Pits. He is a true son of CH Gator from CH Crenshaw's Miss Polly. Miss Polly is a daughter of Jean's Lug from Dupril Sadie. Sadie is a heavy bred rascal bitch making Miss Polly 15 times the classic P. Carver's Black Shine and Carver's Orphan Annie 2, 2XW, breeding, making Dragon the complete Jeep slash Red Boy slash Rascal line. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon to receive all notifications from the channel, smash the like button and keep the game in the game dog. Thanks for watching.